Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. I'm about to get ready, I'm about to go take my shower, get ready for a small Super Bowl party. It's mainly going to just be me, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my mother-in-law. So we're safe. But before I do that, allow me to introduce you all to the newest member of the This and That family. Alright family, for the past couple of videos, it seems like I've been saying that allow me to introduce y'all to the newest member of the this and that family, but sometimes that's just how it is. Now, I want to thank my stepdaughter, and normally I don't call her that, I call her my daughter, but just for context of this video, I'd like to thank my stepdaughter, Chanel Johnson, for sending me this unit. This is something I wanted for a while. I did a review on one about a year ago, but that was actually my mother-in-law's, and I gave that back to her. And I really wanted one, but I wanted one that was a little bit bigger, and due to some certain circumstances that I will elaborate at the end of this video, Chanel saw fit to send me this unit, and I love it. So without any further ado, let me tell you a little bit about this thing. And uh, it's a simple unit. It comes with a few components. It comes with a grease tray. It comes with three racks that slide in right here, here, and here. And they're slightly adjustable. This one will actually go here and here. But I normally only use about two of them. So, if you're going to use two, of course you can stagger them. Now, the next thing that the unit comes with. I'm just going to turn the light on. Nope, not with the door closed. Right, there we go. Turn that light on. All right, and while I was there, y'all can see it has a touch screen. It gives you the minutes, and it also gives you the temperature. You can plus it, you can minus it. Oh, and if you plus this, if this thing is at 400 degrees, I figure we might as well talk about it while we're here. Ah, I went past it, you big dummy. If this thing is at 400 degrees, which is its max, and you hit the plus button, it automatically goes back to 200 degrees. So you don't have to keep hitting minus to get it to go back and vice versa. All right. The next thing that this thing came with was basket. Now, this basket is different than my George Foreman basket. On the George Foreman basket, you have to take a rod and you put all the way through from side to side. This one is welded in place. So this rod never comes out. And it's a simple basket. You simply just unlatch it, put your vegetables or your chicken wings or whatever you want in the basket, close it up, boom, and stick it in the unit. Now, if you notice on this side is a square, and it's about uh, almost an inch long, and on this side, you have a short one that's maybe a quarter of an inch long. Now the way this thing works, as y'all can see up in there, you have a gear right here, a gear hole, and on this side you have a bracket. The way this works is, the longer one goes in the gear hole, and then the short one sticks in the bracket. I'm trying to do this one handed as y'all can see, think, that is in the bracket. So when I hit rotisserie, I don't know if I can do that with it. Uh, if I can hit rotate, the door probably has to be closed. And you can see that started to rotate. Let me shut that off before it gets too hot. Light comes on when you open the door. 
another feature if you are cooking and say you're cooking hamburgers for 10 minutes and you want to rotate the hamburgers after five minutes when you pull, open the door pull the hamburger to pull the tray out to rotate the hamburgers this unit starts back where it left off so if it's set for 10 minutes you interrupt it at five minutes it will continue to cook for the other five minutes when you close the door awesome feature now in order to remove the basket you simply slide it over to the side put it out well and actually let me show you all how this works and I did not know this until recently this unit this piece this thing right here is strictly for removing the basket and removing the uh, rotisserie tray simply lift up slide out and pull that out and that's what this is for Boom. Now the other feature is this. See if we get that light to come back on on the inside. Light open. This is for chicken or ham or roast. You simply take these. See can I do this with one hand? You unscrew this and this slides in and out. You slide that on and it's this unit is square. So you slide that on and you want to bolt that down and the same thing with this side with this unit as the other one this side goes into the gear and this slips into the bracket and when you turn it on it rotates just that simple and that's about it that's what came with the unit it's a simple unit it's made from a hard plastic on the outside, stainless on the inside, the three racks, the basket, and the remover tool. Now, since my daughter, Chanel, sent me this unit, from now on this unit shall be known as CJ for Chanel Johnson. So I nicknamed the unit CJ. So anytime y'all hear me refer to CJ, I'm talking about my Chefman Air Fryer. Now the thing I like about this unit, the one I did review on earlier was my mother-in-law's. It had that one slide out tray and there was not enough capacity there to feed a family of more than just two. If the grandkids were over, if my daughter was over, my son-in-law was over. I had to do multiple rounds of cooking because it simply had that slide out tray. This one is totally different. This one you can cook using three different racks. So instead of talking about it, let's go ahead and pull out some chicken wings and some fries and let's do a quick cook so I can go get ready for the Super Bowl. Y'all stay tuned. Be right back. All right, fam. These are some pre-seasoned with this sriracha and spicy mustard chicken wings. So we're simply gonna open up the unit. I'm gonna pull the tray out. Matter of fact, let's put the chicken wings on the top tray. We're only gonna use two trays because I'm cooking this for my wife. She's gotta go to work tonight. I'll be eating at the uh, Super Bowl party with my brother-in-law. So I don't need any chicken wings. So we're simply gonna open these up. We're gonna dump them on the tray. <clears throat> these out and a couple of, let's talk about a couple of things while I set this up now the measurements on this unit are let me look at my cheat sheet this thing is about 14 and a half inches tall it is about 12.2 inches deep side to side and it is 11.8 inches uh, front to side to side so that'll help you determine whether you what space you want to put this thing in if you decide to buy it and if you do decide to buy it i will leave a a link to this thing on amazon amazon link in the description box below uh now let's go ahead and spread these chicken wings out see we got what seven wings 
So we're gonna take the wing tray. One thing I learned about this thing, I've used it a while. I've used it on uh, some hamburgers. I've used it on, uh, we cook some potatoes. We cook different things. And I noticed if you're only gonna use, this thing likes to be loaded up. If you're only gonna use one tray or two trays, you got to cut back on your cook time a little bit because it seems to cook faster if that air has less to circulate around. So, with just seven chicken wings and the uh, potatoes, we're probably going to have to cut down on the uh, cook time a little bit. So, we're going to put just a few of these Alexa potato fries on the bottom basket. We're going to spread those out. We're going to stick this tray in the bottom. Stick it on the bottom tray. Now we're going to simply close the door. And we're going to, it's on air fry automatically. That's the default setting air fry. It's at 400 degrees. But here you can see we can hit chicken. We can hit uh, fish. We can hit meat, we can hit vegetables, and we also have fries. Since we have chicken and fries, we're going to go ahead and hit the chicken because we can always pull the uh, fries out early. So that's set at 375 degrees by default at 30 minutes. We go ahead and hit start, and our cook is underway. Now anytime we want to come back and check, we simply hit the light feature. We can look and see how our cook is going. We can increase the time or decrease the time as we see fit. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to come back about halfway through. We're going to rotate. We're going to take the chicken, pull it out, put it on the bottom, take the fries and put them on the top, rotate the cook, and we'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. All right, YouTube family, we're back. And uh, one thing I, to take note of, when you're cooking two different foods that take two different times, you got to watch the timer to make sure that you don't overcook one or the other. So those fries have been in, I think we started at 30 minutes, and the timer says 13 minutes left. So we are looking at with 17 minutes on the fries, and they appear to be ready. So let's go ahead and pull the fries. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I think I did. When you open the door and you have your cook time set, Steam. We're gonna pull the fries, set those over to the side. When we close the door, the timer takes off where she left off. And look at those chicken wings. They are looking fantastic. I never use flour on mine. I see I notice when a lot of YouTubers, when they use an air fryer, they flour the chicken and batter it, but the batter never seems to get done. So I never batter mine anyway. You'll never see me hardly use flour or anything on my any of my cooking. So, let's close the door, and hear that? She picked right back up where she left off at. 12 minutes left at 375 degrees. So we'll be back in about 12 minutes, but for right now, I think mama sampled the fry. How are they, Tanya? How are the fries? All right, oh, the fries are good. They're crispy. The last time I did fries, I left them in a little too long, and I almost overcooked them, but I think these are almost perfect. All right, family, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back in about 12 minutes to finish this video to bring in for a landing. Thank you, Chanel. All right, fam. Ooh, we got a nice grease thing going on the bottom. We actually have about five minutes left, but man, put a visual on those wings and they look like they're about ready. Yeah, they're done. Oh, yeah. yeah they are crispy. Yeah, they look crispy. Hey, yeah, look at them flats. Oh. Yeah, look at them flats. Oh yeah, my wife loves the flats and yeah. I like the I like the wingless. Alright. That's extremely hot, baby. Ain't nobody no wimp like you. Alright, we're gonna see. I bet she can't bite it. Woo, 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 woo. That's what I thought. Well that on Eddie Murphy. Now that's a hot. Woo! Good? That's alright. <laughs> mm -hmm. As usual, I'm not gonna catch her on camera because she's in her workout gear, but okay. she gives it a what well, I mean one of them things about. Oh, a bowl? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, somebody needs Ooh, a bowl. It's hot. Ah, uh, yeah. It's spicy. Oh, they're a little spicy. What oh, they got say? sriracha on them. What you did? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. about to die over here. All right, grab yourself a drink. Woo. All right, fam. There you have it. Chanel, there you have it. Daddy and Mama are really liking the gift. 
and it is doing the job. The only thing is you got to monitor it if you're doing multiple things like say a vegetable, a meat, and a uh, carbohydrate, you got to pull them out at the appropriate time. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, Chanel sent me this as a thank you for getting well gift. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Back in, uh, yeah, back in November, I went to my doctor for my annual checkup and my, he didn't care for my numbers. And what are those, the initials for those letters, baby? PSA. My PSA had grown, gone from a 1.4 to a 2.6 in a two year period and that concerned him. So he sent me to a urologist. The urologist uh, did a biopsy and found out that I had cancer and uh, of my prostate. So this was early November, prior to the holidays. I didn't want to bring the channel down, so I didn't mention it. But if you notice in the last couple of videos I did, I think in the beginning of the year, I had on a wristband, a hospital wristband. I had surgery on January the 13th to remove my prostate, and we went back a week later, and I am cancer-free. So that's why she sent me this gift, as congratulatory for being cancer-free. So Chanel, thank you. You've been a rock for me, just like your sister Alexia, your brother Tyrell, my other children. Everybody has been a rock during this whole process. My wife has you. been, you're welcome. My wife has been there. She's a nurse by trade and her nursing skills just kicked in and she would let me do anything. I couldn't go outside. I couldn't, I couldn't, I had to uh, breathe through this breathing device to keep my lungs strong. I had to walk every day after the surgery to keep myself mobile. I had to sleep a certain way. I had to do everything by the book. So that's what was going on. So once again, thank you Chanel for the Chefman air fryer. We're gonna, it's gonna get some good use. This is his new home right here in the corner next to the microwave. All right, fam. I didn't tell y'all that to bring you down cause this channel is all about being upbeat and that's what we're gonna be. So. Thank y'all for uh, being supported. Thank y'all for watching these videos. And we're well over 2,000 subscribers now. So just take this thing to the next level. My last video, you saw me and Tanya had bought our tow vehicle and we're looking for RVs. This coming weekend, which will probably be the video after this one, we're going to Texas to this huge RV lot and we're going to look for an RV again. Hopefully we find the design that we're looking for and we may be able to pull the trigger on this thing soon And y'all be able to go with us on some awesome adventures. All right fam. I carried on enough Y'all take care if y'all really like this video give it a thumbs up If not give it a thumbs down and a brief reason why in the comment section if you love what we're doing here This and that consider becoming a subscriber and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell So you'll be notified every time we drop one of these Awesome video! Y'all take care. Have a great day. A great 2021. And we'll see you next week at the RV location in Houston, Texas, I believe it is. Fun Town RV. Fun Town RV. Here Peace. Come. Here we come. Ooh, them wings, them blacks, and everything. <laughs>